Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at youtube.com slash show. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Hey, I want to thank you guys for hanging with me this morning on the Bounder BB Show. It's a fabulous day. Feels like Monday, but it's not. My next guest, my final guest for today is Dr. Arethusa Kirk. She's here. She wants to know, would you be surprised to know that more than 400,000 children in foster care are in the United States alone. Dr. Kirk, welcome to the Valder BB Show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Are those numbers accurate? Am I exaggerating? No, those are accurate. Um, that's an estimate. Uh, but we've definitely seen that numbers have been rising over the last few years. Okay. What are some of the challenges that these kids in foster care face? And why are those numbers rising? Well, we certainly know that children in foster care have, by definition, because of a placement out of home, that they uh, have experienced or could have experienced maltreatment, abuse, and neglect, and they have higher rates of behavioral health conditions. Uh, one in four is diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder in adulthood, which is two times greater than um, U.S. veterans who've experienced war. Um, we also know that they have two times greater diagnosis of development delay and three times greater diagnosis of ADHD, as well as high rates of anxiety and depression. On the other hand, you know, they have many tools of resilience to have survived um, the types of situations that they've been in. And so through early intervention, which is the cornerstone of pediatrics, uh, we can ensure that children have the capability to develop the tools of resilience and strength to grow into strong adults. Dr. Kirk, put a personal spin on this. Tell me about a little bit about your journey in foster care. Uh, certainly. You know, I grew up in foster care, in and out of foster care, starting at age four. So I'm not unlike many of the situations that I've described, um, aged out at age 18. And because of so many that helped along the way, educators, my foster parents, um, counselors, judges, social workers, you know, I had the opportunity because of early intervention to become a, a pediatrician and to give back. And now I'm so privileged to be part of United Healthcare, where I have the opportunity to help design programming for our members that are in Medicaid that are experiencing foster care. I can't think of a better person to have empathy for the job that you do. Tell me about United Healthcare and its partnership for over 10 years with Sesame Street. Yes, we are so proud of our partnership with Sesame Street. Sesame Street has always been on the vanguard of diverse and inclusive programming. And now this is no different. They've developed a Muppet named Carly who's going through out of home placement. She has big emotions um, as a result. And there are a lot of resources available in their Sesame Street in the communities um, website that allows foster parents, educators, and others um, an opportunity to have discussions that are really timely and important um, for this age group. Are there ways to help children in crisis cope with separation and, and from their parents and placement in foster care? How, how is that handled? You know, one of the most important things that I want to get across is that no one moment is the most important moment, really providing stability and support, compassion, helping children feel seen, heard, and understood, and safe in a sense of belonging is what's important to help children guide through these important big moments of crisis. On my social media page, I see people weighing in and they want to know if they want to foster, if they want to make a difference, where do they go? Well, one of the best resources is first I mentioned Sesame Street in the communities.org backslash foster care, but there's also the National Foster Parent Association, which has wonderful resources in this regard. 
This is great information. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I want to thank you so much for telling your personal story and being a guest on the Valder BB show. We look forward to making a difference, Dr. Kirk, because information like this, believe it or not, it penetrates people's heart. And you told your story so well. So thanks for being on the Valder BB show. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.